According to Mahatma Buddha, the human body holds the key to good health. So, instead of dwelling on the past or worrying about the future, wisdom lies in living truthfully in the present. Unfortunately, many of us struggle with this because we tend to focus on our past regrets and future anxieties. It's crucial to shift our attention to the present moment, as living in the here and now can bring profound physical and mental well-being. By embracing the teachings of Mahatma Buddha, you can find peace and happiness. Pay heed to these divine lessons and watch this video until the end. Otherwise, you may regret missing out on the opportunity to invest your precious time and valuable knowledge. Today's story will help you learn how to live in the present, leaving your past and future concerns behind. Once upon a time, there was a deeply troubled individual perched upon a mountain rock, tears streaming down their face. In their darkest moment, a wandering Buddhist monk crossed their path and extended a compassionate hand. The distraught person, contemplating a desperate leap, confronted the monk's intervention with defiance. If you believe I intend to end my life here, you're correct, they declared. But why should you care? It's my life and I can decide its fate. The monk, undeterred, responded, If you're hesitant to act, why weep here? This provoked the person's anger and they retorted, Maharaj, I'll do as I please. Your interference is unwarranted. Their sorrow intensified, leading the monk to inquire further. Have you truly abandoned everything, carrying nothing with you? The person with empty hands replied, I've left everything behind. I possess nothing. What purpose does living serve if I have anything to lose? The monk, in a gentle yet probing manner, remarked, Then why bear the weight of this burden on your shoulders? These words puzzled the person who asked, What burden am I carrying? My hands are empty. I possess nothing. The monk's response left them astounded. Even your breath doesn't flow freely. You came here to bid farewell to the world, shedding tears. One who has nothing to lose doesn't engage in such acts. Why would they cry? This left the person even more incensed as they demanded, What do you mean by that? Undeterred by the person's anger, the Buddhist monk continued the conversation. Why did the monk utter those words? Have you ever ventured to peer within yourself? The burdens you carry, the weight on your shoulders, have you ever considered their magnitude? How much longer do you plan to shoulder these burdens? It's time to release them here and experience a sense of lightness. How much longer will you allow yourself to be ensnared by these burdens? As the person absorbed these words from the Buddhist monk, an overwhelming wave of realization washed over them. They promptly knelt at the monk's feet, clasping their hands together and uttered, Gurudev, never before has anyone truly comprehended me. Many have come and gone, but none have offered such profound insight into my inner turmoil. You have grasped the entirety of my struggle in a single conversation. The person continued, pouring out their thoughts. Can you provide a solution to my predicament? The monk responded with curiosity. Where does the problem lie? The person affirmed, It resides within my household. Come with me and communicate this to them. The monk gently countered, The issue doesn't reside within your home. Undeterred, the person persisted, Gurudev, I assure you the problem is within my household. Accompany me and you will understand. At this juncture, the Buddhist monk delicately but resolutely shifted the person's focus, stating, The problem doesn't reside within your home. It resides within you. Have you ever ventured to explore your inner self? All the challenges you face, they emanate from within. Until you address them, you will continue to perceive problems in every aspect of your life. Moreover, if the problem truly resided within your home, why would you be perched on this mountain contemplating abandonment? Absorbing the wisdom flowing from the monk's words, the person acknowledged, Guru, you speak the truth. I comprehend your message now. The imperfection lies within me. My abilities are lacking. Every endeavor I undertake results in chaos. My touch appears cursed, and I've never executed a task proficiently. Misfortune clings to me. As a smile graced the monk's countenance, he responded to the person, It appears that fortune hasn't favored you. Can you elaborate on what's troubling your luck? The person proceeded to narrate their story. Guru, my aspiration was to embark on a business venture, and I required capital. Consequently, I borrowed funds from my family and initiated a promising enterprise. Initially, my family stood by me, and prosperity seemed within reach. However, over time, my business encountered setbacks, and my family's support waned. Their disappointment grew. 
I aspired to establish a thriving business, generate ample wealth, and provide my family with all the luxuries and comforts they longed for. I dedicated my efforts to their well-being, but they failed to comprehend my intentions, attributing blame to me for every misstep. Additionally, I can't help but feel I erred in involving my friend in this venture. Comparatively, his business flourishes. He frequently regales us with tales of his business acumen, emphasizing his hard work and the heights he's attained. Consequently, my family extols him as a true friend, contrasting his success with my perceived inadequacy. I am plagued by their perception of my incompetence. These reproaches weighed heavily on me, causing immense distress. Consequently, I resorted to loans and embarked on a fresh business endeavor. Regrettably, I encountered setbacks yet again, resulting in the utter failure of my business. Matters escalated to the point where my home is now mortgaged. Given this dire situation, what course of action do you recommend? The Buddhist monk contemplated for a moment before inquiring, Have you ever wondered why your friend frequented your home? The person replied with a sigh, Indeed, I am well aware of his intentions. He visited to undermine my stature within my family, consistently critiquing my business acumen while emphasizing his superiority. His aim was to sow seeds of sorrow and envy within me, which succeeded as I found myself tormented and distraught. The Buddhist monk with a discerning gaze countered, Do you genuinely feel sorrow witnessing his prosperity? Would you find solace in his downfall? In light of this admission, the Buddhist monk's countenance brightened and he imparted, this implies that your contentment is contingent upon your friend's actions. He possesses the power to bestow happiness or inflict sorrow upon you, for you've surrendered your emotional well-being to his discretion. Consequently, your predicament appears insurmountable, as your joy and suffering are dictated by external influences. Your actions, it seems, have yielded no discernible change in your emotional state. I'm afraid I lack the means to resolve your dilemma. In response, the person implored the monk, Please, Gurudev, refrain from such words. I hold great expectations from you because you are the one who comprehends and empathizes with the anguish that resides within me. You have unraveled it, you understand it. I respectfully beseech you to provide me with a solution to this quandary. The Buddhist monk, with a compassionate demeanor, remarked, When we tether our happiness to others, affixing expectations onto them, we surrender control of our emotional state. If I withhold guidance, you'll remain ensnared by discontent and despair, akin to ailing health. However, should I offer a path, I may assist you in resolving your predicament. Nonetheless, heed this. Your friend, who frequents your home, candidly shares his journey to business success and the toil he invested. These revelations trigger your sadness. Yet, he recounts an authentic narrative of his life's struggles and ascent. He selflessly imparts his experiences to you. The choice is now yours to either harness that wisdom, employing your intellect and the insights derived from his journey to find contentment, or let it wither in envy. True wisdom lies in harnessing that experience, expressing gratitude to your friend for the unrequested but invaluable knowledge you've received. Forge ahead, persevere, confront adversity and never succumb. One immutable truth about time is its unwavering propensity to change, regardless of its current disposition. Hence, whether the present time is favorable or unfavorable, it shall inevitably pass. However, it's imperative to recognize that you must endure and persevere through these contrasting phases of time. When your fortunes do improve, it will be through hard-fought battles that you elevate your business to greater heights. At that juncture, your friends will not recount tales of their triumphs, but rather narratives of their setbacks, thereby dissuading you from making misguided choices. Even if you face a fate similar to theirs, you must rely on your intellect. Instead of yielding to their words, exercise your wisdom, for during such moments they shall not aim to uplift your spirits but rather to mar your happiness. Just as I derive satisfaction from witnessing their sorrows, I shall derive the same satisfaction from your adversity. Upon hearing this, the individual turned to the Buddhist monks and nodded in agreement, saying, You're absolutely correct. My life seems to be controlled by my relatives and friends, and it's filled with both happiness and sorrow. However, I have a question. When I initially started my business, my sole intention was to provide happiness and comfort to my family. Is it wrong to prioritize my family's well-being? I've been working tirelessly for their sake, but even they distanced themselves when my business suffered. 
As they smiled in response, the individual questioned, Why the smiles? Did I pose an inappropriate query? He acknowledged that they hadn't formally recognized him as a Buddhist monk. It's human nature to seek consolation when we err, and he too desired the same. Everyone craves recognition for their accomplishments, and the absence of praise can be deeply disheartening. It's during these moments that we might conclude that everyone in the world is driven by selfish motives, pursuing their own interests and maintaining relationships for personal gain. However, if you view someone as family and act for their sake, it's essential to realize that you're ultimately working for your own happiness. Understanding this truth leads to lasting contentment. Addressing the monks, the individual exclaimed, I grasp your wisdom now, Guru. My fate used to be controlled by others who painted it with their chosen shades of happiness and sorrow. But now I'm determined to take control of my destiny, regardless of the outcomes. Ultimately, the individual turned to the Buddhist monks and admitted, Guru, your teachings have become clear to me. My life was previously shaped by external forces, which colored it with happiness or sorrow at their whim. However, I am now resolved to take charge of my destiny, accepting both its ups and downs without surrendering to defeat. Turning to the Buddhist monks, the individual inquired, Guru, I've grasped your teachings, but could you provide something to support me through life's most challenging moments, a constant companion? In response, the Buddhist monks handed the person a small box and advised, This holds great significance to me, and you should keep it near at all times. It conceals a secret capable of liberating you from profound sorrows and rescuing you from dire calamities. Only open it when you believe there's no way forward, when everything appears futile and meaningless, including my words and the world itself, where existence itself seems purposeless. With those words, the monks entrusted the box to the individual before departing. Taking the box with him, the individual returned home and embarked on a new business venture. This time he refused to succumb to defeat, and his business thrived. As his business prospered, his family reunited with him. He had achieved the comforts and joys he once desired. His past no longer haunted him, and the future ceased to be a source of worry. He channeled his energy into improving his present circumstances. Time is ever-changing. Much like how bad times are transient, so are the good times. Once more, a period of prosperity in his life had come to an end. A neighboring state launched an attack, resulting in the complete destruction of his home state. His business suffered total ruin, and he found himself facing immense hardships with his family. They were forced to become nomadic, moving from one place to another. Their situation became so dire that they couldn't even afford basic sustenance. Tragically, his parents succumbed to hunger. Yet he continued to wander with his wife and two ailing younger brothers, unable to provide them with the necessary medical care due to his dire financial circumstances. At this point, he began to comprehend that all his efforts had been in vain. What was the purpose of leading this life? The entire world appeared futile, and the wisdom imparted by those beggars seemed utterly pointless. Today, he found himself bereft of everything, devoid of any reason to continue living. The once meaningful advice of the beggars had lost its significance. Ultimately, life concludes in death so why persist in pursuing worldly success and achievements? Even his very existence now seemed devoid of purpose. Reflecting upon these thoughts, he lamented not having summoned the courage to make meaningful choices in the past, which might have spared him his current disillusionment. His inner turmoil was all-consuming, and it was during this introspection that his gaze fell upon the box gifted by the Buddhist monks. Within the box, he discovered a note that read, the dawn of your new life can emerge from any corner. Whether you possess a gold coin or not, it is courage that will invariably propel you towards action. Reading these words reignited hope within him, rekindling his determination to pursue greatness in his life.